He's the leader of a country that nobody but Turkey recognizes, and now Turkey's leaders have turned against him too. Mustafa Akuncu is hoping to be re-elected as president of the self-declared Republic of Northern Cyprus, with a population of no more than half a million people. Akuncu supports a federal solution for the divided island and is keen for stalled talks involving the government in the south of Cyprus, as well as Greece, Turkey and Britain, to resume. But many people here in the north favour a two-state solution, including the Prime Minister Ersin Tatar, who's backed by Turkey. This week, alongside Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Tatar announced the partial reopening of Varosha. It's a holiday resort abandoned by its Greek Cypriot inhabitants during the Turkish invasion in 1974. The move to allow visitors back onto the beach was criticized by Tatar's rivals, who saw it as Turkish interference. Unfortunately, the authorities of the Republic of Turkey took a side in this election, very openly. They did this despite all my warnings. All of you have seen this. All of society has seen and experienced this. Successive United Nations resolutions have called for the area to be transferred to UN control. UN peacekeepers monitor the buffer zone between the two parts of the island. And the reopening of the beach prompted protests by Greek Cypriots living nearby. It also led to a member of the ruling coalition in the north to quit, in effect bringing down the government. The UN plans to call new multilateral talks on the future of Cyprus after the election. The upcoming uh, uh, negotiations will be basically five-party uh, 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 negotiations, not just between the two Cypriot sides, but also including the three guarantor powers. So whoever is elected needs to work with Turkey in order to uh, formulate the best policies uh, in the negotiations. The election comes during territorial tensions in the eastern Mediterranean. Cyprus and its ally Greece have been pushing for international sanctions against Turkey for its exploration of undersea oil and natural gas, meaning the vote in northern Cyprus is being watched more closely than ever. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.